So what's up guys, Paul Salmon here. So you're fixing to make an off airport landing and you'd like to know which way the wind's blowing. I'll give you some tips on how to figure that out and that's coming up next. Okay, let's talk about how you determine which way the wind's blowing. Wait a minute, I got the wrong shirt on. Hang on. Take it. Okay, so let's talk about how you determine which way the wind is blowing. Okay, so you know, you've always got the usual things such as smoke. Look around if you've got some smoke you can look at, that's gonna kind of give you a good idea which way the wind's blowing. If you got tall grass, a wheat field, that sort of thing, you can generally tell which way the wind is blowing uh, just by looking at the uh, uh, pattern across the grass. But I tell you what, let's say that you're over woods and you've got a clearing in the woods and uh, <clears throat> you'd like to do a confined area landing to that clearing in the woods and you're looking at the trees and boy, the trees aren't moving much. Wind's only about, you know, say 10 or 12 knots and so it's not really moving things around enough to really tell. So how would you like to do it? Well, I'll tell you what, I got a good old trick for you. Uh, this one goes back to when I used to fly the gyros around and try to figure out how to do an off airport landing with the gyro plane, you really need to know which way the wind's blowing. Well, tell you what, everybody's got GPS's these days and the GPS's are literally lightning fast. I mean, they'll give you second to second determination of your ground speed. And so what you do is you simply pick an airspeed, you're in a helicopter, so you can slow down to say 40 knots or 40 miles an hour, 40 knots, whatever. Nail that airspeed and then put it in about a five degree bank and make a nice five degree bank turning around at about 40 knots and taking a gander at the old ground speed on your GPS. You can easily determine which way the wind's blowing because when you're pretty much right into the wind, you're gonna slow the show the slowest ground speed, okay? Once you've done that, you've determined that, okay, let's say I'd exactly due north is my slowest ground speed. Then you can verify that by then coming around and doing a 180 turn and see what your ground speed across the, the uh, ground is gonna be measuring when you're going due south. And turn back around and go due north. Take the difference between the two, divide by two, and you can easily calculate what your airspeed is, at least for the altitude you're at. And you don't really need to be very high. You can be a, just a matter of four or 500 feet off the ground. Just nail the airspeed, uh, make the nice slow turn, and uh, you can easily determine your ground speed by looking at your GPS. So I'd like to give a shout out to Jeff Apperhall from Australia. He called me on the phone here just a few minutes ago and actually posed that question and said, hey, you're going into an off airport landing site, kind of having trouble which way, uh, determining which way the wind's blowing. Do you have any tricks up your sleeve for that? Yes, I do. So that's what we just talked about. So I hope you found the video helpful and uh, you know, be safe out there guys, like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video.